science. A branch of knowledge or study dealing with the body of facts, systematically arranged and showing the operation of general laws. Systematic knowledge of the physical or material world gained through observation and experimentation. And the science dude. Did you think that was awesome? Check this out over here. It's a king size version. We've got a 55 gallon drum, a swimming pool, and air pressure. Watch this. Round and round the mulberry bush, the monkey chased the weasel. The monkey thought it was all in fun. Got air leak. You see that? The steam pushed most of the air out of the barrel. <laughs> Scared me to death. Pushed most of the steam out of the barrel. We put the lid on to keep air from going back in, and then we threw it in the pool to cool it off. The steam turned back into a liquid, and all you left was with empty space. The air pressure of the atmosphere, boom, smashed it up. Awesome. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a barometer, and this is one that you can really make at home. No, for real this time. You know, you don't need a rusty spoon, you know, like in the cloning bit. Uh, you can actually make this at home. And uh, we're going to make a barometer, and we're going to test it out to show the air pressure. And so all you need is a soup can, uh, a straw, a balloon, some rubber bands, and some colored paper to make it all nice and pretty. So let's make a barometer. How do you make a barometer? <laughs> <laughs> this is really high tech. My finger's stuck. <laughs> yeah, making this at home is a breeze. Working out my frustration. Now I'm just making it up as I go. Do it yourself, barometer of science. Okay, it's ready. Let's go. Okay, here we are. Here's the plan. We're gonna take our barometer and we're gonna make a mark, kind of a baseline mark, right here on our paper. Oh, that's, that's good. We've got our mark. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our barometer to the top of Mount Nebo, that mountain right there. And we're going to see if we can tell a difference on our barometer. Because at the top of the mountain, there should be less air pressure. And just to make sure, we've got a car coming. <laughs> Happens in every one of these. <laughs> just to make sure, we're going to take a real barometer with us. Uh, so, let's go. Check it out. We're at the top of the mountain. And look at our little homemade barometer, the do-it-yourself barometer. And look at the needle. It went way below the mark because there's less pressure up here at the top of the mountain. Look at our real barometer. Look how far down it went. There's less pressure the higher up you go. And so the barometer went down because there's lower pressure. See, air is pushing down. So at the bottom of the mountain, there's more air pushing down on our barometers. When we went to the top of the mountain, now there's 1,350 feet less amount of air pushing down on these, and so the pressure is lower. And if we went even higher, then the pressure would go lower and lower and lower. It's all about air pushing down. Air pressure.
Cour. Check out the barometer. It's gone back up. We're down at the bottom of the mountain again. There's more air above us, more pressure. I forgot my safety goggles. <laughs> you put on my backwards gloves. <laughs> okay. 55 gallon drum, a swimming pool, and, whoops, <laughs> and time. a lens cap. <laughs> Did you think that was... Yeah, let's do it. Oh, you gotta work fast. You gotta work faster than this. Now for the dangerous part. Awesome! With the big wet can! <laughs> Woohoo! Boom! 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 Crushed it.